Over the past many years, most schools have bought computer uh, equipment only to find that within two or three years it's outdated. I'm talking to Anthony Dunlop and Sean Cookson from Edit21. Welcome. Thanks, Phil. Uh, and Edit21 is a program that is based on renting computer equipment that can be updated whenever it's uh, out of date. That's correct, Phil. Mm -hmm. uh, Edit21 program uh, makes purchasing computers a lot easier. It's as simple as, uh, say, going out and renting a mobile phone, except this time you're actually renting a computer. That's right. One of the great problems with owning technology or a computer is you just never know when you're going to need to change it. It might be when you want to change it. It might be when technology is telling you to change it. Rental's all about giving you the flexibility of being able to change when you need to. So a university student or a parent wanting to get a notebook computer for their, their student at high school, wanting to get a machine under Edit21, how would they go about that? Well, it's quite easy. Uh, we have a national network of dealers, so they can uh, visit any of those dealers, or the dealer, chances are the dealer will come to that university or school in the due course of time. They can either ring a one, or they can ring a 1-800 number, or they can visit uh, our homepage. Okay, and what is the process involved in applying for Edit21, getting a machine? Well, we've tried to make it very simple, Phil. Mm -hmm. We've put the computer packages into user groups that range from primary, secondary, tertiary and professional. So you pick your user group mm -hmm. and have a look at the range of products that we, uh, that we offer you. Mm -hmm. um, one they're, they're different computer packages, software, hardware? That's right. Mm. Uh, uh, desktop, notebook, hardware, mm -hmm. software, internet access, mm -hmm. insurance, a range of uh, value-add services. Mm -hmm. uh, once you've chosen your product, you can then move on and select your own finance structure. Mm -hmm. Once you've chosen your computer package, you simply place your order and choose your monthly payment. Well, thank you for sharing this with us today. Uh, Edit21, which is a rental program for teachers and students. Um, thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Sherwin. Thanks, Thanks very much, Phil. Edit21. Thanks. Thank you. We have with us again Anne Glover uh, to show us some of the latest software. Hello, Anne. Hi, Phil. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Look, uh, keyboarding, it's an issue with um, some parents and with some students. Uh, more and more students are using keyboards nowadays, and I know that uh, a number of schools have keyboarding programs. Yes. What advice have you got for schools and parents uh, to do with keyboarding? My view basically is, especially for young children, is that if they want to learn to use the keyboard and to touch type, when they want to is the right time. There's mm -hmm. no point forcing them to touch type when they're 7 or 8 or 10. Mm -hmm. When they're ready, that's the right time. And probably buying a program that's fairly child friendly too, rather than okay. an adult program. So that it's fun. It's not a drudgery. It's that's a right. fun way to increase the skills. And, and you've got something to show us, I think. Yes, Jumpstart Typing mm -hmm. is a program for young children to mm -hmm. learn to type. It has lots of different games in there, but the idea is they need to earn some strength points before they can go and play the games. Mm -hmm. So they first of all sit down at the typing tutor where they type in their sentences and that earns them the points to go off and do some rollerblading and avoiding all sorts of things as they type in their letters or to uh, ski down the mountainside. Okay. And as they're skiing down the mountainside, they're typing in letters as they go. Oh, okay. So we've got some learning experiences and they're punctuated with some fun. Really? Certainly, yeah. that's right. Okay. But even, even the fun has a little bit of typing in it, but it seems much more enjoyable than a normal typing tutor. Okay. Now, I know we don't have a lot of time. Is there something that we can quickly look at here? Or? Well, the scenario is that here's Polly, and Polly mm -hmm. is a young girl with attitude. She's mm -hmm. not any sort of a wimp. Right. And the friendly robot here is basically on our side as we try and release the coach. Mm -hmm. And the coach is trapped in here. Behind the only the way door. we can, yes, mm -hmm. let him out is to earn enough typing points to earn our strength, gain points as we go along, and save the world. Okay, so if we pursued this, we would go through and there would be some screens practicing our typing. That's and right. And then we'd do some activities and earn the points to release the coach. Exactly. Yeah, okay, great. So that's Jumpstart Typing yes, for a right. young age group. Yes. We have Jane Galton from Scholastic New Media with us. Hello, Jane. Hi, Phil. You have some language software to, to show us today. Yes, this language software has been produced in Australia, in Melbourne. It's won awards here and overseas. There's 10 titles in the language series. Um, we've got English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Japanese, Korean, Indonesian, Mandarin and Hebrew. So today you're going to show us the Indonesian title. That's right, Buddhi Teaches Indonesian. Um, so let's, let's get into it. This is. This There's is lots of schools studying Indonesian, so this should be of particular interest. Yep. There's 
approximately 25 activities in each program. This is the introduction screen. Um, we go through the alphabet, counting, animals. We've got some songs here. Uh, happy birthday, which is everyday greetings, and backpack, which is things like fruit, vegetables, um, school items. So we might uh, go to animals. Okay. It's very easy for kids to find their way around this Minata. program. It's totally based on immersion in the language, so there's no English spoken. But there are help screens which the kids can go to if they're having any problems. And we'll speak binatang. to them in English or will they read that in English? They'll read that in read English. So click Bunyi on this binatang. one here. Carilah binatang di orang utan. Now he, graphics. Yeah, here we're on the easiest level. There are three levels of each activity. Um, so as the kids progress, they can make, make the activities a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. So orangutan, orang utan. So the sound and, and animation rewards the children when they do um, get a right answer. Okay. Um, let's just we'll click on a wrong yeah. answer. We've got a shadow there that is a clue for mm -hmm. us. Isn't it? So we'll go to try this one. Ular. Now, if the students Ikan. were having trouble working out what it was. We could go up here to the blackboard screen and that would help us out. Okay. So there are 10 languages in this series mm -hmm. and, uh, and they focus around languages that uh, schools tend to study and this has been the Indonesian one. That's right and Indonesian has been a very popular one. Well thanks Jane. Once again we have Ron McGregor from Scholastic New Media. So Ron, to move from creating landscapes and, and virtual worlds to animating human shapes and perhaps animal shapes, I believe you've got something for us. I've got, I've, I've got a product there that a couple of years ago would have cost you like tens of thousands of dollars and you'd need a really, you know, like a top-end computer. But this could be done on your entry-level computer. It's called Poser 3. And basically I've got a human figure here. And this is just a young boy. You could have a... Uh, adult oh, man, male or yeah. adult female, or you can uh, now bring in animals with four legs, which uh, of course many animals have. Uh, what, what I'm doing is I'm showing how I can manipulate the body in real time across, around the screen. I can move arms. And I can move the legs. And I could either print off that picture or I could actually uh, record an animation or record a path where that animation is taking place. And I've done that just a little bit earlier, whereas I've just moved the arms. And if I press on play here, you'll see the arms waving in an action. OK, so it's just click and drag, and it records It's all click and sequences. drag. It's, it's a sort of thing that we put, we're using it in film production with, if they wanted, say, a person to jump off a cliff, obviously mm. you don't want to see the person jump off the cliff, but you could actually Simulate animate that. the diagram of the person jumping off the cliff. And this is, once again, something that's available to students at schools there and using their entry level machine. If I've got time I'll just click on the uh, the face cam and you can actually see where I'll, I'll move the face and I could actually even anim animate the face or animate the eyes moving. It's a real fun piece of software. Excellent.